Hey guys, BAKD here. Today is the start of a new series. Now this series is going to be pretty um, kill intensive, but I am going to go in every single system in the entire game and get one kill. Um, my venture is going to start in Kaldari space. The first place I'm going to start is the Citadel. The next place will be the Forge. Lone Trek and Black Rise. Um, my venture is going to go all through Losek, getting a kill in every single system, even Derelict, um, to eventually progress out to Nolsec, where it will be extremely hard to find kills. People are going to be prepared, and I am going to put my life on the line every single encounter I come across. Um, the only way I'm going to be able to achieve results is gear the most expensive Condor 2 Interceptor in the entire game. Now this thing I built for close range combat. It is going to be um, basically living on the edge. Um, I have no lifelines built into this. I have no outs. If I get scrammed, neutered, webbed, you name it, I am pretty much dead. Um, if we go ahead and just look at our build, I did the best equipment possible. Now, cold DPS, we are sitting at 432, and we'll check out our hot DPS in a minute. Now, we went with three B-type small missile launchers for the most DPS possible. A Republic Fleet uh, Warp Scram. Now this comes in at 17.88 kilometers, so we are going to be orbiting around 15, right on the edge of death. We have a Explorer Narrow Resonance Scanner. Um, for some reason the scan... Uh, oop, am I not looking in the right place? There we go. So with my skills, I'm 554. I got a minimum scan radius of 121 and a scan radius of 184. Um, I'm not going to be brawling with too many um, cruisers, destroyers, or frigates. I'm going to go for uh, top tier targets, but that does not limit me from killing a trainer to move on to the next zone. Um, I have my Predator Warp Disruptor, 39 kilometers my B-type small micro warp drive for the fastest speeds I can get. Um, I went with a B-type small shield booster to at least uh, heal me a little bit. This isn't like a uh, oh crap button damage control. Um, this will be for small bits of shield and uh, little bits of damage that I take. I ha got a B-type ballistic control system for the absolute top tier DPS in this thing. I may swap this for a C-type capacitor battery, depending. Now, for the low slots, I took out my range rigged because I'm going to be right on the edge of <laughs> uh, people's scram and disrupt and stasis web of fire range. So I went all out DPS, 17.5% damage and two activation times. For my low slots, I did two tier 3 auxiliary thrusters, getting me up to 5,000 meters a second with my micro warp drive. Now, I'm going to be swapping this off eventually. That's why it's not a tier 3, but I did a tier 2 inertia modifier. This may be going to a CCC um, to keep my cap up if I have problems. You see I only have 55 seconds with my shield booster going. So we will see how long I can hold up. Um, now, if we just undock really quick, let's check out our hot stats and actual I'm speed. Talking. Now, this thing is going to hit like an absolute truck, and it's going to be able to speed tank a majority of things. Um, if we go hot and our speed there, we are going 5 thousand and ninety six meters a second there now our hot dps is 566 on an interceptor which is absolutely insane i do have a veteran nano core here giving me additional 14.4 percent dps um, the most expensive nano core a man can buy 
Um, the only thing that is going to shut this build down is if I get uh, neuted, nosed, scrammed, or webbed. Um, like I said, I don't want to be going for stabbers or uh, most cruisers to say the least because if they get a scram on me, I cannot um, get away. I have no afterburner. I have no dual prop. Um, potentially, if I want to mess around with my build, instead of a, a ballistic control, I can try to fit a small afterburner, but I will have to take off some of my B-type equipment. But uh, with that all said, I need to clear out the four zones that I mentioned earlier to then move to the next zone. Um, progressively, it is going to get harder and harder. I'm going to choose more deadly space as we go. Um, eventually going to some of the deadliest zones in EVE Echoes. Who knows? You guys have to stay tuned. Maybe I'm going to get killed in low sec before I even make it to null sec. Um, but we will rebuild and we will progress. Um, but this is going to be my one kill rules them all series. But um, enough talking. Um, let's go ahead and get into our first zone. Nope. So we got the Stabber fleet here. This is a extremely scary battle because if he gets a web on me or these rats scram me, I'm pretty much toast. So he's trying to slingshot me with an afterburner, it appears like. right through the rats with missile disruptors which is just great see what he was wearing 118 mil not too bad he had a single web two nosses um, no scram so I probably would have been able to escape but he did have an afterburner um, he did have one point of stab which wouldn't do anything that is the Cynadel kill and that's the last one we needed to move on to the next area good fight my friend ourselves an Atron 2. I think 
was out of here like a herd of dirty turtles. Here. Looks like it's just a thrasher too. Sorry my friend. But I'm gonna take this as my forge kill. out of here. Could fight my Chinese friend. Two mil. Oof. Probably shouldn't have killed him. No, oh, he's 218 days old. That was a bot. 100% a bot. I don't feel too bad, but let's see what he says. Question mark. Huh. I don't know. Was he or was he not a bot? But that crosses off the forge off the list. Not the most uh, juiciest kills yet, but uh, yeah, we're making do. Got somebody. Thorax prototype. Warp drive active. Bang in the base out. Oh shoot, I warped really close to this one. dangerous. Okay, rats haven't uh, relocated on me yet. Scary. Okay, let's get out of here. Oof. All right, let's go ahead and go to a mining belt. That is going to be our lone trek kill. That is one area marked off the list. Lone trek there. Now let's check our kill mail. So it's just a thorax prototype banging a base out, 29 mil, it's not worth uh, looting him up, but I will take it. Yep, he was scrammed as well, good fight my friend. Potentially there's somebody at Warp drive active. Small Anomaly, let's see who it is. Seen some of my missile shots. I may have to adjust my uh, my build up again. All right, good fight, Edward. Let's go ahead and just take his paw down. Get out of here. 
good fight, Mr. Edward Boswell. 10 million esque, all Mark III stuff. He was probably new to the game. Let's see. Oof. Yep, two days. Well, I'm not sure if he has membership or not, but I'm going to go ahead and contract him a little bit of ISK. 10 million ISK, my friend. Destination reached. Go. We got somebody. Let's make this quick. Let's do thirty five. Warp drive active. Cunning means. Really? We got a Gila. This may or may not be a good idea. being detected by others. Nobody warps in on top of us. And there we go. Out we go. Warp drive active. Well, good fight, my Gila friend. Let's see, multiple. Yeah, they had to be friends. Here we go. Is this going to be our Black Rise kill? Look at that. Here we go. We got a Drake. Depending what kind of missiles he has, this might be a kind of a scary fight for us.
Just got two Nosferatu's on me. Uh, in this situation, I do want to lower my cap by quite a bit. is an infiltrator. He shouldn't be able to get to us. This is a cap game now. Once he caps himself out, this might be the, uh, the scary part, especially with two Nosses. He's going to continuously keep me capped down. is getting low on cap already. Let's just keep sinking our teeth into him. Draining about 10% cap every cycle, so that's not good. fit is he's uh, not boosting at all okay, we are looking good I'm interested to see if he has any uh, stabs on him if he thought he was safe or something Ooh, there we go and check out our kill mail 342 mil all C type missiles he had no prop two Nosferatu's and absolutely no stabs well good fight my friend you got me my black rise kill and it is time to move on to zone number two well guys, that's going to do it for zone number one. We got some pretty decent kills, but we cleared out all the areas we wanted to. Um, we banked out with around, um, I think, 60 to 70 mil in hard isk and loot and stuff. So I will take it. We profited a little bit in this one. Um, be sure to stay tuned next week. Um, zone number two is going to be an absolute banger. Um, so yeah, I will see you next week. Peace.